Every academic year, college students are introduced or reintroduced to the world of science primary literature, those very detailed reports of scientific studies that are written by the researchers who conducted them. Whether you are a college student or someone seeking information about a medical condition or anyone following scientific advances by going to the original source, which is primary literature and is often published as a journal article, a common reaction to primary literature is that it is dense and incomprehensible. And that's not a surprise. Primary literature is written by researchers for other researchers in the same field. Even scientists in other fields may not immediately understand. But whether you initially understand the jargon or not, you can glean information from primary literature and find additional information that is related. And how to do that? Use the science matrix. The parts of the science matrix include secondary literature. Secondary literature is much more concise and usually written at a much more understandable level than primary literature. Secondary literature is more like a magazine or a newspaper. It provides a summary or an overview and additional explanation of the original publication. There are many key secondary sources, especially today, but three well-known and quality secondary sources are New Scientist, published in the United Kingdom since the 1950s, Science News, published in the United States since the 1920s, and Scientific American, a very well-known science magazine that began life in the 1800s. Secondary literature is a great help into broadly understanding what the primary article is about. Another part of the science matrix are reviews. Use reviews to put the findings of the original source into perspective. So what is a review? A review is a summary of research done in a specific subject area, often very specific, often written by a researcher or researchers in that field. Reviews can be a great time saver. Instead of reading several primary articles yourself, someone has done that for you, summarizing the findings and showing how the research is interconnected. Key review sources include annual reviews, well-known, published since the 1930s, and now includes reviews in more than 50 subject areas, and the Trends In series, now 20 plus journals with shorter review articles. Another key part of the science matrix is the bibliography of the primary article. In other words, those articles, reports, books, that the researcher or researchers use to conduct their study. Use the bibliography of the original source to find other related and relevant sources of information. Again, other articles, books, reports, etc. Just remember that everything listed in the bibliography was published prior to the original source. In other words, you are going backwards in time. A final part of the science matrix are the ciders. That is, other articles, reviews, books, publications that list the original source in their bibliographies. By doing so, they create a link with the original source. If the original article is useful to you, a cider may be useful as well. Use the ciders to find additional relevant sources. Just remember, ciders are published after the original source. In other words, you are going forward in time. To get more out of published scientific research, to understand, to gain perspective, and find additional useful materials, follow the science matrix.